Hey there, Falcon fans. This is Stickster. I wanted to show you something cool that you can download to extend the capabilities of Falcon immensely uh, to do all sorts of very cool things. There's a set of scripts that you can download from GitHub. And for those of you who are not deeply into software, uh, GitHub is basically a place where people can share the code that they write. Now, behind Falcon, there is a scripting language called Lua, L-U-A, and that scripting language you can use to create all sorts of cool script processor add-ons, and then uh, you can use those in your patches. Now, there are plenty of them that are provided. The event processors that come with Falcon are uh, very functional, but there are some cool utilities that other people have built. And so one of them is this uh, set of processors called Falcon Punch. Now I'm going to post the link down below. I'm going to show you that site here. And so if you go there, you'll find this screen and it'll show you what's in that code repository. Now the easy way to get at this is just go over to the code button with the drop down, use download zip. So when you do that, you'll be able to download that zip file. And as you can see here, I've tried it out myself. And I'm going to uh, open up the downloads where I found it, and I'm going to unzip that file. And what, what you're going to find inside that directory is now the contents that you see here. So what you want to do is go to the Lua folder, and you're going to copy all of these LUA scripts. And then you need to put those in the user presets folder that you have for Falcon under the subdirectory event processors, script processor. Let me show you uh, where I would find that if I go to my documents and into uh, my user presets, and then I'd look for event processors and script processor, and I would put them in here. You can just drop them in this folder. What I've done is I've made a subdirectory called Falcon Punch, and then I've just dropped all of those LUA scripts here already. Okay, fantastic. So what does that do for you? Well, now, in your Falcon, what you're going to be able to do at any layer where you can insert a script processor uh, in the uh, event category, you will be able to use Falcon Punch. So what I'll do is hit the plus sign here, go to script processor, and at the bottom, you'll see Falcon Punch. And there are all of these different useful utilities. Now, I'm not going to go over all of them, but I'm going to show you one of the very cool ones out of the box, which is Chord Bank. Chord Bank allows you to assign chords to a single note on the keyboard. Now, this is similar to how many MIDI controllers allow you to do this. However, if you've got an older MIDI controller, uh, or if maybe you're using that MIDI controller's chord bank for other things, you can still have a chord bank specifically for Falcon. And of course, because Falcon has this very multi-leveled architecture, you could have different chord banks, for example, for any arbitrary layers in your patch. So I'm going to show you how to use this really quick. I'm just going to load up a cool one like um, uh, this jazz one. And you'll notice that it outlines all the keys from uh, C1 up to C3, I believe. And I'm just going to raise this and show you that you could make it E flat if you want. So now I've got everything raised to E flat. And if I hit one of these keys on the keyboard, you can see that I'm getting a an entire chord here now. And... Very cool. So that's just one of the presets here. And of course, you can make as many of these chords as you like. You can assign them to uh, any key you want. If you like, I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, select a, um, a key here that we can learn on for this one. And I'll just put in, I don't know, something really simple here. Okay, so I'm just basically adding uh, some keys here, and uh, yeah, so now when I hit that key, now you get that chord that I've just outlined. And of course, you could make as many of these chords as you like. So this alone is worth downloading Falcon Punch for. It is very useful. It's a very useful utility. 
So with that in mind, uh, I hope this helps you out. Definitely check out the other utilities that are in Falcon Punch. If you're interested in one in particular, let me know. Uh, I can easily do a quick video about it, uh, but I'm going to leave you to discover some of this. And if you find something cool, uh, make a video about it. Share it with the world. That's what creativity is all about. And in the meantime, I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon. Until then, I'll see you next time.